Hello, everyone. Hi, and welcome to A1R Psychic Radio. I'm your host for a little bit, Suzanne Marie, and I hope I get a really good caller tonight. I hope that everyone is doing well, feeling good and feeling loved and cared about. Um, I'm really, really excited about April, and I'm really excited about the solar eclipse coming on the 8th. It's big news, I guess. Everyone's talking about it. Um, it will be in Aries, which is a very, very strong fire planet, and it's calling us to let go of the things that we don't need anymore, that doesn't benefit us, and makes us aware of what we do need. So there'll be a lot of throwing things out and put, replacing things um, come this April. And um, it, Aries is, is really, really good for what we need. It will be about what we need to move forward. So I'm looking forward to it. And um, yeah, so you can reach me at psychicpass.com like below, uh, dot com, if you would like a reading from me. I'm a clairvoyant. I see past, present, and future. And I'm a light trance medium. So yes, welcome. I hope that a, a caller is coming, and I hope to be of some help. I hope that um, everyone is, is ready to be able to, to do the work that we need to do. Um, sometimes we forget in our hustle and bustle of life that it really does take for us to grow, to self-reflect on us. In order to self-reflect is very, very healthy. What do we need to change? What part of what we don't like is something that we're contributing to it? Things like that. And so I think there'll be a lot of that. I... Um, I don't know what life would be like without self-reflection. Um, it needs to come in. It needs to, to be able to have us process what are we thinking and what are we feeling and what action do we need to take. We are, um, we are sometimes confused that thinking is feeling and feeling is thinking, but it's really, really not the same, um, is very separate. And so uh, those things will come into play pr pretty soon next week. We have Nicole from Missouri. Hello. Hello. How are you tonight? I'm, I'm great, how are you? Pretty good, pretty good. What can I help with tonight? Um, I guess uh, just a, any a general reading. Um, been going through a whole lot, and just there's like all kinds of <laughs> things just up in in my face. Okay, I will ask what spirit says. Um, are you feeling some some anxiety? Because I feel mm -hmm. some anxiety coming from you. Yes. Okay. Um. So spirit right away is telling me that you're going through a lot of changes and um, there's been upheaval and spirit, spirit is telling me that um, you may feel like you're a victim of circumstance on some of that and that sometimes you ask, uh, why is it happening to me? Yeah. Um, Spirit says it, it, it is for growth only. Um, in the things that you've been going through, and I, I feel like this has been going on for a little while, not for yeah. a very long time, but for a little while, it feels like you have really just uh, grown in leaps and bounds. And I, I don't know if you can can sense that, but um, yeah. you seem to be clear on, on uh, the energy that you're willing to have around you and things that you're not willing to put up with anymore. 
That's what spirit is telling me that you've done a lot of growing yeah, and, yeah. um, can, you know, congratulations because spirit says you've done such, such great work in in such a short amount of time. And, and it's not the things that have happened have nothing to do with why you, it's not a punishment. It's not a karma thing. Um, it was really just to put you in a spot for you to do better, if if that makes sense. Um, it does. It does. It was painful. Um, I see some tears, but it was necessary. And so, spirit is just really, really proud of you. Your guides and your ancestors are with you, and they're very, very, very proud of the growth that you have done. Um, and they're saying there's no need to fear. I feel like the worst has, has already happened or the most uh, angst situations are over with. And I feel like in the next two or three weeks, you should be doing very, very well. And if you feel like you're missing something, it will be be replaced very, very shortly that that you will have what you need and what you want. And Spirit is saying that there's a wish that you have that will be coming true. And it's, and, and it's a very personal wish, but uh, Spirit has heard you and it will be coming to light before May. Before May, you should be doing very well. Thank you. Yeah. Um, don't fear anymore. Don't be anxious about things. You are you are stronger than you were, let's say, a, a month and a half ago. Yes. You're you're a lot stronger. Don't be afraid. Um, spirit does love and care about you. So that that would be. That that'd be what I'm I'm picking up. Is there anything else I can answer for you while I've got time? Um, yeah, um, I'm planning on moving closer to my daughter, and um, just a little apprehensive about that. But do you see a move happening, and and it's going to be good? I do, I do. Um, does she daughter. have a child? Does she have no, a child? I'm hoping no. I feel like a child is coming. <laughs> oh, that would be so great. <laughs> and I feel like you being close to her is something she'll need. She'll need you. Um, and there's something, too, about, about health. Is there something more healthy where your daughter lives? Because Spirit is um, saying that you, you'll be healthier. Um, I think so, yeah. I'm, I'm battling cancer, and that. Uh, I just want to get closer to my daughter and, and I don't blame you there. Um, yeah, I feel like you will be healthier there. There'll be a bigger support for you. And I feel like, um, things will, will be better. There's a betterment yeah. to it. So, um, and I feel like you have been kind of ignored with, with what, what you're battling. I feel like, yeah, some part of where you are is just kind of like, oh, prayers and thoughts. But I feel like where you'll be moving, there'll be more compassion, more compassion and more knowledge, which is what you need. You know, yeah. part part of this, this feeling that, that's been going on probably is just because you're not being cared about the way you deserve to be cared about. So I think it's an excellent idea. And I feel like you will be having better health. I see that. Awesome. We do so much. We do so much better when we're loved. <laughs> yes. So that's what I see. Um, it won't. It won't be an easy thing. But I feel like uh, maybe that's just the wish that you were wishing. I feel like uh, health would be the number one wish for you then, and um, and the grandchild. I see the, 
a grandchild for you. So I'm so happy that that I was able to to really clearly well, see you. that tonight. Thank you very much. I hope you have a, a very good weekend and and um, I will definitely be thinking of you. Um, and uh, thank you very good yeah, much. You have a good night. You a thank good you so much. You too. Thank you. Yep. All right. Bye bye. bye, -bye. Thank you everyone for listening and calling. I appreciate all of you. Please have a good rest of your week and I will be here next week. Thank you.